Welcome to Crafting with Recreation. Hey, hello everybody, how you doing? Oh yeah, you know, nice. We're crafting. Crafting on a nice snowy day. With recreation. To make polar bears. Oh, that's awesome. So exciting, right? Very cool. Yeah. Kind of goes with the snowy theme of everything going on right now. It's snowy, there's polar bears. What more could you, could you ask for? Hold on. Nothing. You won't balance? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> All right, well, uh, let's get started here. So our craft supplies that we need today are gonna be some white paint. Cool. You're gonna need some cardboard or some foam board, I guess is what it's called. I don't know. Yeah, there's, yeah there's a name for it. Yeah. So you can use uh, this cardboard you have from a yeah. package that maybe got delivered to your house. Yeah, and if you do use cardboard, I'm gonna recommend you use the corrugated ones. So the ones that have the little zigzaggy lines. A little, a little thicker, a little yeah. thicker. Yeah. More stable, I like it. Yep. Glue. Get some glue. It's not hot glue. Not hot glue today, so don't worry about burning <laughs> yourselves. <laughs> Scissors, uh, paintbrush, paint, white paint. If you want to do brown paint, if you don't want to make a polar bear and you want to make a brown bear, go for it. Use some brown paint, um, or just don't paint your cardboard. That's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there yeah, you go. There's options. Yeah. Oh, and then a polar bear uh, template. You can get these offline, or you can get the one that's in the packet. Whatever works for you. Oh, Sarah was nice enough to draw ours. I was. So we had a little personal touch. Yeah. Our yeah, happy little, our happy little chubby polar bear. Yeah. He's eating good. So, all right. Nice. Let's uh, let's get started by cutting out our polar bear templates. Hey, can I give you a very interesting fact about polar bears right off the get here? Love to hear a very interesting fact about polar so, bears. So, did you know polar bears are not white? What? Yeah, I know. But they look white. I know, I know, I get it. I Why are they it. not white? Uh, well, they're actually, their skin is black. Oh, oh. But, so. But, because they have like translucent fur, and the snow like reflects onto the translucent fur, and they look white. Wow. It's like they're a magic bear. It's crazy. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so, for that wonderful polar bear. Yeah, yeah. thanks for uh, making me a template so I can have two of my polar bear. I appreciate You're welcome. that. That's awesome. Yeah, let's cut these guys out. Yeah. It's a lot of cutting today. If yeah, you... cutting is not my strong suit. Mm, yeah. So uh, if you have a friend that's good at cutting, enlist your friend. Uh, I am I am friendless today, as Sarah oh. is already occupied. So I'm gonna do my best, and it's okay. It's okay if it's not perfect. We that's, will try. That's the fun of craft. It shows a little uh, yeah. homemade love in there. I am terrible at straight lines, so uh, as you can see on your polar bear template there, Chris. Hey, there I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm lines, not criticizing. But... <laughs> it is okay. And I'm all right with coloring outside the edges too, just in case you were wondering at home. Right. All right. Oh man. Yeah, cutting is hard. It is. It is hard. I, uh, there we go. Kind of got the body. And he looks a little weird because he doesn't have his legs when you cut out the body. And that's fine. Until it's all put together, you gotta use your imagination a little bit. Exactly. So you, you can get these templates off the internet and you can probably just Google polar bear templates yep. or something. Outlines, silhouette. I'm, I'm sure they're free, right? Oh, yeah. Yep, there are loads of ones that are free. We wouldn't ask you to pay for them, so don't do it. Yeah. It's a scam. Gamola. Right? All those poor bear <laughs> templates. <laughs> Making millions. Trying to get your money. <laughs> Darn, what did I do wrong? <laughs> oh, man, I know, right? This is the boat. <laughs> Could have been drawing templates all this time. Whew. All right, so I got my body too. Yeah, it does. It looks, looks like an eggplant right now. <laughs> but we're getting there. Yeah. All right. And I got my, uh, my feet. Yep, cut those out. Get and you there. only have um, two, because one is for your back leg, and then the other is for your front leg. Oh, and, and you're just gonna, going to trace two of them so that they look the same. Going to double it up. Yep, first. Gotcha. You guessed it. Are you ready for another polar bear fact? I am. Hit me with it. All right. Uh, they can swim for days what? at a time. Constantly. Like, no days? stopping. Days. What? Days. I don't know, like, I can't picture them doing the backstroke. I picture them doing the dog waddle. Yeah, like just the, the little polar bear. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. So, dates. Uh, wow. That's, that's impressive. I, yeah. 
They probably have to. They probably have to move anything. quite a bit to find food. If I had to guess, I. Uh, that would I, make sense. I have very rarely been on the rolling tundra, but uh, if I have watched one episode on Discovery Channel of <laughs> anything, it probably has told me that there's not a lot of food out there. Yeah. You gotta find a seal or something. They always make it sad too when they talk about polar bears in those commercials. Bumpy. Yeah. What's up with that? It seems like they got a decent gig, you know? There's right. no, they don't awesome. have predators, I don't think. They are the predator, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, kind of king of the mountain over there. Yeah. Tell you border. what, out of all the bears, I think I said this earlier, polar bears are the scariest, in my opinion. Well, they're a lot bigger than most other bears, yeah. right? Because you don't realize how big polar bears are. Yeah, I have never seen one. I, I have not either seen I, a polar yeah, bear you know, in life. On television, that's about it. Right? Yes. And they always make them seem cute and cuddly and like holding a Coke bottle. But it's, it's definitely, they don't do that. <laughs> yeah, the, the PR campaign, campaign for uh, uh, polar bears was good by Coke. Right. Coke, Coke did them a lot of uh, solids. Yeah, they do look adorable. And it just seems like they're sledding looking for right? their caffeine fix. Just want to have a fun time, but no, they're actually... All right, I got my things cut out here, so then what am I doing? I'm, I'm putting them on my phone board? Yeah, so we are going to trace them. Now, okay. if you don't want to trace the whole thing and you don't plan on reusing your template, a good way to do here is you can just take, now you're going to have to trace at least with two of the legs, but you can take your little uh, paper and just tape it down there so that when you go to cut it out, you just have to cut out around the paper uh, silhouette that you have there. All right. And you can just use a pen or yep. a, a, like a butter knife probably even if you, you know, you're just trying to get something to mark the outline, right? Exactly. So you can see where to cut. Did I take your pen? Uh, I think we only have one pen right now. Oh which my is goodness. I will just uh, tape these and then reuse them later. We need a production crew. Yeah. There we go. Oh my. This is cool. I like this. A little polar bear. Yeah, it gives that three-dimensional art. Yeah. Instead of all the flat stuff we've been making. So that's, I guess, fun. Flat stuff for suckers. <laughs> yeah, no, this is cool. I, uh, I like something like this. This is neat. So I'm going to take the template of the legs and I'm going to make two, right? Yup. All right. Are you waiting patiently for my pen? Um, no. No, I might just start cutting. Okay. Now, you can, if you have a friend that uh, has a box cutter, maybe you can see if your friend will help you out with that, but uh, do not use these on your own. Very dangerous. Very sharp. And uh, always, if you do use a box cutter and, you know, it's okay, you're okay to use it, cut away, never towards yourself. Oh, that sounds like somebody that's maybe had a, a close encounter. Close encounters with the... <laughs> the knife kind. The knife kind. <laughs> I uh, maybe once or twice in my life have gashed myself. <laughs> yeah. uh, they make exacto knives too. They do. They, they're, they're just as sharp and just as dangerous. Even though they're so tinier. Careful. Yeah. For sure. One might say they could even be more dangerous. Because you don't think about them, do you? That's true. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna utilize this knife. Again, you want to cut away from yourself. All right, I'm getting there. If anybody wants to call up uh, to the rec site, and uh, I will mail them my template. Uh, <laughs> I will. I will put a stamp on an envelope and mail you my polar bear template if you would like to reuse it. Uh, save yourself the trouble of printing one out. If right. you don't have a printer, just give me a call. We always like hearing from you guys. Or if you just want to say hello. Yeah. We are here. We do miss everybody. Oh my goodness, that took so long. It's been a long winter. It has. Um, and I okay, think listen to this. You ready for this? All right, hit me. I got one for you. This is cool. Less, wait, no, that's not right. Oh. oh, there we go. Oh. Scientists can extract polar bear DNA. Do you know what DNA stands for? 
uh, deoxyribonucleic acid. Gosh! <laughs> Man! I thought I had done that one for sure. Put me on the spot. Trivia Knock team. it out of the park. Trivia Way to go. Master. Way to go. <laughs> I would have, I would have like, like made up a bunch of words that sounded scientific. <laughs> it would have been funnier, but uh, you nailed it, man. Way to go. Yeah. Anyways, Anyways uh, yeah. they, uh, scientists can extract polar bear DNA from just their footprints. Really? That's kind of cool, right? So they must have like really sweaty feet or something. Yeah, I, yeah, maybe. Or like know. fur. Maybe they drop fur as they walk. I, I have no idea how that science stuff works. It's I'm, cool though. I'm really interested in that, yeah. Uh, who would have thought? Right? Not me. For sure. Alright. We're cutting this so, stuff. Yeah, that box knife wouldn't be a bad idea. The scissor thing's a little hard here. Right? I'm You'd uh, like to. A little challenge. Yeah, I'm getting there, but it's. Uh, Scissors are good to help trim it up. So I've got. My little polar bear silhouette, I started cutting him out. Ours are in uh, black because we were using black poster paper, which kind of works out with that earlier fact you told us. Yeah, like this is like their black skin. Right? And we have to give them some Seriously. fur that's white. Yeah. <laughs> How exciting. Very, very <laughs> cool. Very cool. Amazing. Uh, All right, I'm not even going to mess around here. Just go with this. Uh, so here's another cool fact. Ready for this? Alright. Grizzly, there actually exists a grizzly polar bear hybrid. So there's what? like, yeah, like grizzly bears and polar what bears. What does that look like? Babies? I, I don't know. But, uh. I feel like that would be the most terrifying bear combo. A grizzly <laughs> and a polar bear? Yeah, like, yeah, it's taking like one scary thing and adding one more scarier thing to it. Right? And that's not to say I think bears are like terrifying. I just think they're cool animals. I'm not scared of bears, but I, I think I'm a little bit scared of bears, actually. I have a healthy I, I respect tend to agree, for them. Disagree. I am uh, not petrified or anything, but I don't know. I, I've talked with people that have gone up into Alaska and stuff with the grizzly bears, and like you know, had the bear mace and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah it's a little nerve wracking, man. My, uh, I have an uncle that lives up there. Oh so, yeah. So yeah, they're definitely a concern, but perhaps not as much as the moose. Oh yeah. I know. <laughs> Again, another another uh, animal that had a great PR campaign campaign because like right. You know, I don't really think a moose is like being cute, but yeah, I know they're very harmful. Yeah, they're dangerous, man. Mm -hmm. So all right, and we're in the process of still cutting this stuff out. I know you got you, you're probably a faster than me. And this is just going to be the part that takes the longest, just cutting stuff out. Maybe in our production team we can do a little, <laughs> do a little editing, right? A little flash <laughs> editing. Zip through it. <laughs> Feel free to hit fast forward. <laughs> if you don't want to see us sit here and cut <laughs> a bunch of polar bear parts out. But if you want to hear all your polar bear facts, oh yeah, go you, fast forward and You loud. might want to stay tuned. Oh my. Mm. So I'm breaking the rule of uh, cutting towards me, but... Oh, no, Chris. I don't... I don't know. Either. Safety first. I'm being, I'm being as cautious as I can be. <laughs> I, uh, my pap actually has a saying, and he, he his saying is, never get bloody, always cut towards your buddy. That's funny. Because, you know, away from you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not you. Years of, I guess... Pennsylvania wisdom there. Yeah. Well, that's a good disclaimer. I appreciate you doing the, the PA announcement. <laughs> <laughs> Some things don't transfer borders very well. That's fine. You know. Mm -hmm. Oh, I kind of yes. dashed half my poor guy's leg off here. So uh, maybe cardboard would cut a lot better. I don't know. We didn't use cardboard. I'm also not a fan of the way that this foam stuff sounds when it cuts. Oh, is it like chalkboard soundy? Kinda, yeah. So if yeah, you don't like great. the way that foam sounds, like when you scratch it, this might not be the material for you. Just a thought. Okay, I've got two legs. I need two more.
Come here. Oh my. Should I go on here? I'm going. <laughs> I'm definitely going. This is a. Uh, takes a lot longer than what we thought it would. <laughs> All right. I'm getting progressively sloppier. Yeah, steady. I know. I'm like, alright, got this. <laughs> and maybe it might be easier ahead of time to cut out some sections and then kind of put it on there so that you don't have to cut into and fight the cardboard. You can cut off sections. And I did, just so I didn't have to cut so deep with the box knife, I, uh, I cut both sides of it. So. Oh. A little... Clever. Precautionary. All right, I got my got my stuff here. This is a bit of a messy craft. Let's see. Are we uh, we do for another? I think so. Craft? What do you got? All right. I don't know. If this this might not surprise many people. Actually, it doesn't surprise me too much. Uh, that the uh, the biggest threat to polar bears is shrinking sea ice. Just. Mm. Real estate, I imagine, for them is getting a little, a little tougher these days. That makes sense. Well, I mean, if they can swim for days, imagine the amount of mileage that they can cover. Yeah, and I'm sure there's a reason for it too, right? I don't think they'd be swimming all over the place if they didn't have to. Maybe they just for food resources and stuff like that. Right. If I had to guess. So they probably have pretty big territory ranges that can't be helped by shrinking ice. Yeah. Yeah. The inverse is like a turtle, right? Like a turtle won't leave like five, like box turtles don't leave like five acres ever in their entire life. Span. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's cool, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, they, they, uh, they, don't, they, don't, they don't really venture out too much. Huh. Probably not too surprising, they're very methodical in their movements. Yeah, when I, where I grew up there was a roadway and there was always one turtle that um, there's a family that lived on the side of the road near it, kind of like a busy roadway. And there was a snapping turtle. He was huge. And he always tried to cross the same road like a couple times a week. And you'd see the family <laughs> out there trying to run and grab the snapping turtle that lived in one of the marshes nearby. <laughs> evil, so, evil turtle. Right, yeah. He was like, I did it last time. <laughs> nice. But uh, yeah, so that makes sense that uh, if he never left that it, it, five acres or whatever, he'd cross that same road over and over and over. So I now have my black. Uh, skinned polar bear that I Beautiful. need to uh, put white translucent hair on. All right. Right. So I'm gonna just use white paint. Let's do it. All right. Rock and roll. And then, do I need to paint both sides? Let's um, see your tutorial here. So I glued together my polar bear before I painted him. It actually might be worthwhile to paint both sides of your bear, so you don't get the black detail in the middle. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Or brown or whatever. Yeah, yeah I'm with it. I'm with it. Whatever you're using. Okay. Your brown cardboard part? Yeah, your brown cardboard parts. Unless right. you want it to be a brown bear. Again, whatever bear feels right in your heart. Yeah, right. big, big shout out to our camera crew today. Yep, they're thanks. doing the most. Thanks, camera crew. Way to go. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate your uh, dedication and endless support. It's fantastic, actually. Right. I just always feel supported by my camera crew. Constant support from our camera crew. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. So we're going here. Paint, paint, paint. Paint, paint, paint. Right. Um. Let's see here. Uh, are you thinking about another polar bear? Oh, wait, fact? yeah, I got a fact here. Okay. This okay. is pretty, again, this is one of those ones you do not know. I don't think. I don't know. You got you got a pretty. Uh, uh, I'm, great, I'm great at random trivia nights. This is <laughs> super random. If you All do right. this, what, what percentage, I'll ask it as a question to you, Sarah. Mm. What percentage of polar bear hunts do you think are successful? Mm. If you want me to make a multiple choice, I will. So I'm not great with numbers. I'm going to guess 25? Uh, lower. What? 11. Lower. What? Four. Yeah. They're lower. What? One. 
Higher. <laughs> All right, what is it? Two percent. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who would have thought? Two percent of polar bear hunts are successful. What are they hunting for that makes them so unsuccessful? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, gold? I'm not sure. Right? They're up there miming? <laughs> <laughs> Palm trees? Yeah, I'm not sure. It's, uh, I, I assume they eat seals and stuff like that, but I, uh, mm. but, well, you know, all those, all those animals have to be pretty quick, right? That would make sense if they're like particularly hunting stuff in the water. Yeah. I don't know. What is polar bear diet? Like, what do they eat? I don't know. This is something I probably should have Googled ahead of time. <laughs> uh, this is the largest land carnivore. So we know it's meat. We got that down. So they're meat eaters. They are meat eaters. I know that much. And they're the largest land meat eaters? Yes. Largest largest land carnivore. I can't think of a herbivore that's larger. Can you? Elephant. Too safe. Darn it. <laughs> Man. You hear this everybody? <laughs> you got you got questions. Don't go to Google. Call up Sarah. Who will consult Google? <laughs> <laughs> Fact checked by Google. <laughs> All right, I'm yeah, this, uh, uh, already on my other side here. We're going to. You know, town. I'm, you know, I'm crafting because I got some white paint on my fingers. Oh, always. If there's paint within a mile of me, it finds its way to my fingers. All right. Some polar bear painting going on there. Polar bear painting. Yeah. Woo. Okay. I'll just prop him against the tape. You think uh, you think polar bears have a good sense of smell or a bad sense of smell? Hmm. I don't know. I would think that they probably don't heavily rely on smell. Well, you would be wrong. <laughs> They have a very good sense of smell. It doesn't mean that they use it, <laughs> but, so you might be half wrong. They do have a good sense of smell, Ooh. regardless of... How well can they smell? Really well. <laughs> I don't know. Really good. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's the extent of uh, the fact I have here. Right. Well, you know. Really, really good. <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to need some glue to do my legs now, right? You will? Oh wow, you paint really quick. Yeah, I'm messy. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. When you don't worry... When you don't worry about... Uh, you oh, you had a bigger brush than I did. That was oh, nice. Would you like to use the bigger brush? <laughs> I actually would. Alright, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> wow, look at that! <laughs> Light years ahead. So much faster. Um, here's a fact that's not helpful. It says they face more threats than climate change. That's all I got. <laughs> Probably because they face threats and climate change? Yeah, maybe so. <laughs> all right. Poor so guys. our big legs, big legs are going in the back. So big legs go in the rear, yeah. All right. So I'm just going to take out my glue. That doesn't have a top off of it. Let's see. Hey, all right. <laughs> So we're going to load this thing up here. Yeah, and if you're making this in real time here, you might want to let your paint dry a little bit before gluing it because it might not stick right away. So you might want to take like a 10, 15 minute break. So you're going to put the big one in the back here. Yep. And then, yep, all right. You got to square it up here, matching up the legs to make them all pretty. Be very generous with your glue. All right, yeah, there we go. And then, so now you got half yours going here. Feel free, you know, once you put the glue in there, you can move it a little bit. There you go. And then you just want to match it up on the back side. So then oh, you yeah, need here. to Silhouette. floppy sides. You probably couldn't see it. What's that? Silhouette. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, with the white on white. Yeah. There we go. See? So we did this side, and now we're just going to match up the other side. Ooh. I like the way that, like, you kind of jaggedly cut it. It makes them look fluffy. Oh yeah, I oh. meant to do that. Yeah. Totally. I figured, since you are a master crafter. Hey. It's tough living in the shadows. Right? You haven't seen Karen in a while, have you guys? Huh? There's 
Huh? What do you think? Contested title from Master Crafter, guys. Hey, okay, we're trying here. We're trying. <laughs> Year 14. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. She heard your snack talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's still the queen. Still the queen. Just riding some coattails over here, Miss Kara. <laughs> yeah. You're doing a fine job. It would, been, it would have been funnier if you knocked me out, like, with the, with the door. Replace. <laughs> Replace. She said, oh, here I come. <laughs> All right, so I got that going here. You can see. Oh, nice. All right, they matched up. You could, you know, you don't have, they don't have to match up. You can give them a little walkie motion. Right? All right. If you do want them to stay, you might have to match them up, though. My glue is not dry, so that's why my guy keeps slumping. I want, or you know, you could use those like little uh, uh, push pins to make it a, like an action bear, so you can Whoa. have it walk around. Oh yeah, where you like poke a hole in it and then its legs do the floppy thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, Aww, I think the the little nose makes it, or the the little uh, tail, the yeah. little button tail there. His little yeah. His little boop of a tail. Little boop. Little boop. Little boop of a tail. Yeah. So yeah, mine might not stand up, but that's okay. Yeah, it's because their glue's wet. So if you want them to stand like this guy is, you have to let your glue dry. Yeah. And just uh, you can do that by leaving it there and being like, "Hey, see ya." Or you can put a stick on it and make it go all over the place. Right. You could uh, take him everywhere with you. He could be your you new polar have, bear friend. You could have a polar bear puppet show. Polar bear puppet show. And they could have conversations right? about all sorts of stuff. Hey, uh, quick question. Yeah. How much does it take to break the ice? <laughs> How much? Something about polar bear. I don't remember that's a joke. <laughs> that was a horrible joke. <laughs> it's a, oh, how much does a polar bear weigh? That's how it goes. Enough to break the ice. Enough uh, to break the ice. Nice. I ruined it. Oh, man, it's okay. All right, guys. Well, that, there's your polar bear craft. It's yeah. good to see everybody. Thank stay, you all for joining us. Stay warm in the snow. And uh, we miss everybody. Give us a call. If anybody wants my template, I'll mail it to you. You got it. See Thanks. you guys. Have a great rest of your day. Bye, everybody.